Hello and welcome to Maxie's Fun Time. This is Maxie and we are back here on Feed the Beast. But we're in a brand new pack. <laughs> this is not Modern Skyblock. Imagine that. So this is actually the new continuum pack. And uh, I kind of wanted to... This, this is just my mess here that I've not optimized or anything and this is the test world where I've been testing stuff for some online uh, stuff so just ignore that um, I am 100% next week going to do a quick start guide for this pack I uh, believe I've played it enough to know about some some starter tips that I can give you guys to get you guys started really really fast in this pack um, and, uh, hopefully they'll help you out with this pack. Specifically, this pack. <laughs> I would like to say that one thing about this pack is, there is a time gate. There is a time gate. There is specific... What, like, in, in, in any pack, there's a time gate. There's always something that the pack... Unless you're, like, in a kitchen sink pack. And even then... Some mods just add like time gates in for you. There's just something that you have to just wait a specific amount of time in order to do it. it even if it's like you need a hundred thousand resources to make this item, that, that's still a time gate because they know it's going to take you time to do that. You're not really going to be able to get that instantaneously. So, but in this pack, there's a mod called EFAB. EFAB is the crafting um, design. Basically, every item. Not every item, but most items require this EFAB. Now, if we go into our quest book here, one of the first quests that you have right below Lumberjack is the actual EFABulous. And it gives you a rough estimate of what this thing does here. I'm going to go ahead and read this part for you guys, all right? The EFAB is a new modular multi-block machine that works like an advanced crafting table. Several items are only craftable through the EFAB. To start with, you will need the EFAB crafting grid. Hit the show item uses button you, while you're hovering over the EFAB crafting grid to see the recipes required require it, recipe to see what recipes require. It. Notice that some of them require specific upgrades. To get stone tools or better, you will require the armory upgrade. Craft the armory upgrade, then place it inside one of the nine upgrade slots under the crafting grid in the EFAB GUI. Other recipes may require blocks like gearboxes added to the multi block instead of upgrades put into the GUI. So, this is the EFAP right here. I'm going to show you the recipe for it. And it's just a block of any plank, and then they're surrounded out by wood. Now, in this pack, wood. Hold on. I'm trying to find the recipe. There it is. Wood only gives you two, all right? And if you go over here, uh, there's there's not many machines that actually help you with this. If we go here, no, uses. That's fine. That's a that's a bad example. Um. Come on. Acacia. Acacia should work. Um, how to get that? There we go. So, sawmill. You can get six. There's the thermal expansion sawmill. There's the cutting board. There's also a lumber mill, which I'm going to show you over here. That'll help you out with wood. You do have to get into a couple of machines and some RF generation. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Uh, but this is the lumber mill here. 
and uh, basically you just put in logs in there. I don't, I don't have any logs on me. Let me grab a few real quick, just to show you guys. Then we'll get to the bread and butter of this. Um, <laughs> this takes a while. This takes a while to get to. All right. So let me put those in there. And that's that's basically it. Now I don't know if they've changed this, but it, it's supposed to give you three. It's kind of weird that it. But uh, I've been using that to get more wood than normal. <laughs> Let me put that in there. Anyway, so to start out with on the quest here, the EFAB here tells you to make the EFAB crafting grid here, an armory upgrade, and one gearbox. Do not do this. Alright? Do not do this. So the EFAB is 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 really simple to make, actually. If you hit the R button here, as you can see here, it's just a plank. And then wood around. Now you are going to need a crap ton of wood in this pack because of the simple fact. That's why I was showing you the wood is two one to two instead of one to four. All right, and also the stick recipe is one to two also. I believe. Yes. So you're going to need about twice as much wood as you normally would get, but uh. What you want to do is you want to make five of these, all right? So go get a crap ton of wood and make five of these ones, all right? Okay. Now, now the next thing on your quest here it says the armory upgrade, and you want five of these also, all right? So you're gonna to have to make five wooden oats, and you're gonna to have to get the rest of this enough for five, all right? And you want to make five of these. You can put one in each one of your efabs. All right, like this. Well, I'll show you. I don't want, I kind of didn't want to show you the pattern yet, but I've already shown you. So, and you'll put them in there like this. And each one of these has it in there. All right. There you go. And the third thing you want on here is a gearbox. And you want four gearbox because if you scroll over this, it says right there in the tooltip, this block adds gearbox style crafting to your fabricator. This is your fabricator. EFAB is a fabricator. If, if, if you didn't. If you didn't understand that one <laughs> so this gearbox if you put four of them you will get the maximum amount of speed bonus all right maximum amount of speed bonus so you want four of these and this recipe which I'm getting ready to show you right here requires a crap ton of iron right so four of these are going to be expensive you don't want to be making four per efab it's a multi-block stru structure you can make four and then you can build multiple efabs around those four all right however you want to do this i'm going to show you the way i like to do it and uh you guys can go from there all right so this is the recipe you're going to want four of these so you're going to want four blocks of iron and then 16 iron ingots all right and and for those of you counting that's nine each of these so four times nine would be 36 all right then the 16 on top of that which gives you a total of, of just shy of a whole stack of, of iron all right so make sure you go mining and get a stack of iron all right and you will not be getting or doubling anytime soon so don't worry don't worry about just throwing it into a furnace and then and, and melting it down that way. All right. Um, don't be don't be waiting. Don't be waiting. Just just get this done. All right. And then uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that you understand this part of it before I do my quick start guide. So all right. So stupid noon there. So once you get all that, you want to put it in this pattern here. All right. Four gearboxes on the side. And then the checker pattern with the efabs, all right. And what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to actually craft in each one of these grids. Let me put another one in here, one in there, and one in there. And each one of these is going to get the speed factor of four, all right. Now, let 
I'll show you this. This did not increase. All right. Four is all you need. More of these do not matter. All right. Not only that, there's these things called EFAB bases. All right. And if I put an EFAB base here, and then I put another EFAB here, with my armor upgrade, I still get the feed, speed factor. All right. This is a multi-block. Let me go. Let me go make it nighttime. It looks like it's getting dark. The daytime, not nighttime. I did, I haven't set this world up to like infinite day. I usually do that for my testing world. This is in this is, this was my regular world that I was just playing through, and then I kind of like just did some testing in it because I didn't feel like making a new world. So I'm probably just gonna start a new world, um, and just make this one my testing world. I just haven't set it up. Like I usually do all my testing worlds. So I want I wanted you guys to understand this. All right, it's a multi-block. These four gearboxes will speed up any speed up uh, EFAB that is connected to it. All right, <laughs> it doesn't have to be next to the gearboxes. I just wanted you guys to understand that. So the strategy here. Get that out of there. is off of each one of these here in each direction you want to come off like this all right in each direction there we go and what you want to do is you want to make these EFAB bases. Now, the recipe for the EFAB bases is just a piece of smooth stone and four iron. All right. And you get four per craft. So it's very, very good. All right. It's very, very cheap con considering all the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of these in here. And what you want to do is you want to bring these out like this. All right. From your EFAB core grid. All right. I am going to skip coming out this direction because it's over water, but you can come out this direction also. Now, once you start getting into like tanks and stuff, you can actually use multiple tanks and put multiple liquids in there and steam. All right. It's used for liquid and steam. All right. So, and if you look at some of this stuff, you see that, that, um, it can be used for a uh, specific stuff like right here this uh, RF controller here if I put four of these around the controller it will speed up I can have up to four of the RF controllers and it'll speed up RF based recipes all right so some recipes will require you'd have this upgrade here the power upgrade if it requires you to have the power upgrade it will use it it will uh, be sped up by the speed upgrade now there's something in the 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 uh, thing here that if it requires multiple things, like if it also if it requires the uh, armory upgrade, and also the uh, power upgrade, that it it will determine the speed bonus based on which combination of uh, stuff you have by this. All right. So the objective here is to put multiple of your upgrades on each one so so like if i was going to do this one here i would want to do this all right and that gives me the maximum bonus so and i got i got plenty of sniffle here we can on the end we can put in a couple of these guys here to give us storage then on this side we can do pipes right here as you can see um Two pipes uh, increases liquid uh, recipe, so we can actually do this here, and this will increase the actual speed of liquid recipes. <laughs> Power optimizer block. This block considerably optimizes the RF-based crafting operation. 
and negates the time constraint, allowing you to craft, allowing allowing the craft to go as fast as the available power will allow. All right. So um, some of these are actually expensive, so you might just want one of your grids with uh, some of these upgrades in them all right you may not want to upgrade all of them if you have the resources and you have the time to wait on those um go ahead and upgrade all of them all right but i would just i would just upgrade one to like like power upgrade or digital or whatever whatever you need like that uh because you only you only really need one but if you have the resources and you want it, go ahead and upgrade all of them. It's not its not going to hurt you none. And this is item storage here, so we can uh, put some item storage on here. Let's go ahead and take this out here. Like that. Like that. And uh, there's an auto crafter on here, so there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff you do. But uh, this type of grid here, and you can you put this in the floor of your base. You don't have to actually leave it up. All right. There's no reason to have the that I have found. There's no reason to have like access to the sides of this stuff. All right. You can't right click on any of this. But this right clicking on this just tells you the tank's empty. But you can click on the top of it. Like like these, you might want to pipe in on the side when you have access to pipes. But um, for the most part, you don't need to access any of these. Uh, these you want to access the top probably. You might want to uh, pipe in on the side. So you might want to have access to the sides or the bottom. But for the most part, you can just leave this in the floor. All right. And you can put these on top if you want. So, so like each one of these base sides will give you access to the stuff. All right. So, that is the EFAB. This is how to optimize it, all right? Get the most out of it. Now, there are recipes that require a crap ton of time to make, so there's no point for you spending, let's say, 40 minutes making a diamond chest plate, all right? If we go here, this is the diamond chest plate. If you look at the recipe here, go to the EFAB. Right here. 10 minutes 10 minutes but this is the base amount all right so if i get diamonds here as you can see this is only going to take 2.5 minutes you don't have to make each one of these individuals what i'm, I'm going to show you here in a second all right you can put each one of the recipes in each one of these here the boot recipe does have to be down here as i'm going to show you right here in a second this does not work the boots have to be in the bottom two slots there there we go and i'm just going to start these all right start start and start now one of the complaints that i have had people say is the this is loud this is not loud this is this is far from loud let me tell you mechanism mechanism machines are loud <laughs> this is nothing <laughs> this is nothing all right <laughs> and uh if you go away here you can't even hear it. So you put it put it somewhere where you can just craft and then walk away if you, the, the sound annoys you. Um, I don't think a sound muffler works. I don't even know if there's a sound muffler in the game. Hold on. There is. Alright. <laughs> Nothing. So that away <laughs> and I don't know if any of these sound options in the uh, thing here will help is the blocks there you go if you turn blocks down 
the sound goes off. So you can do that. I'll, I'll have to remember to post that into the actual forums. For There's people complaining about the sound of it also. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications. Oh, don't forget to click the bell. And you'll get notifications from my channel whenever I upload videos. You can come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next episode.